Dave. Yeah. What are you doing? I'm putting the uh, this the retaining clip here. But, oh, you got it in, Dave. I but got you it. Know what? Usually it flies across the room. Yeah, but you know better. Do I? All right, guys. I just caught Dave red-handed doing it's something. Fine. I know you got it on this time. Yeah. But you even admitted that usually it goes flying. Yeah, it does. I just caught Dave red-handed doing something that he should not be doing. Cutting corners, I think. Cutting corners, trying to take a shortcut. So basically this video is how not to reinstall the clutch drum clip on your steel chainsaw. And of course, you have your video camera and you caught me, but whatever. Honestly, Dave, yeah. I just caught you by fluke. Okay, well, I, I'm not. I'm gonna wear it, I guess. So okay, how so do we do it properly? I'm gonna show Dave how to do this properly. Okay, Dave, take that clip off again. But it's on already. And I think it's a fluke that you got it on without losing it. These are a pain. Oh man, is there a trick to these? There kind of is. This is why they always go. Do you want me to show you? There, there you go. Yeah. So that's how you. What's the best it. way to do that? Is it just kind of like that? You have to twist it as you go. So we'll put it back on. Don't look yet, Dave, because I don't. Okay, fine. I'm gonna show you after how to put it on. So Dave, I usually use the chainsaw tool. Okay. Okay. And I I get right in here, so I'll put the the tip in here of the screwdriver. See that? Yep. And I use the shaft, the crankshaft, as leverage. Oh. Then I keep my fingers behind the clip because it usually it goes flying. <laughs> Got it. See that? Oh, wow. It's like you've done that before or something. Yeah. Well, maybe once or twice. Okay. What are you forgetting, Dave? Um. When you put that clutch drum on, how did you put it on? Just over top of the uh, over the top of the clutch with the bearing there. You didn't line anything up. What do you mean? Okay, pull the clutch out. Pull the clutch drum out. Oh, it's tough because it's it's plastic. Is, yeah. Okay. okay. So we got the bearing. Yeah. Is there a, is there a certain way that this is uh, supposed to go on? I'll give you a hint. Okay. There's a notch. Got There's it. There's the notch. Okay. Okay. What? Why do you think that's there? Well. That notch probably corresponds to one of these teeth on here, but I mean it's a round it's a round drum, so I don't understand mm -hmm. what why I mean. What turns when you start the chainsaw all the time? The, beside the engine, the crankshaft. Yeah. Right. What does it make turn to lube your chain? The oil pump. Exactly. Right. To be more specific, Dave. Yep. You have to line up that notch. Right. To the oil worm gear okay 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 so is there an indicator on here that yes there'll be a small shaft and we'll get a flashlight and we'll zoom in so the audience can see okay okay dave so basically what it's turning is the oiler worm gear there's a small shaft sticking out i can see it already i can't see it well, i don't know where i'm looking okay see where my screwdriver is yep i see that do you see that little shaft i moved yes let me zoom in here oh oh okay that makes sense. So that notch has to sit on there. So see where my screwdriver is? That's the shaft that goes in the notch. Got it. Okay, it, it's important to line it up. If, if you don't line it up, it might work, but it's going to make the shaft bend downwards. And then if you do reinstall it properly, it may not line up because it's been bent down from not having the sprocket drum uh, not installed properly. Got it. So I'll put the sprocket bearing here first because it's a lot easier putting on the sprocket drum. Mm -hmm. And then you'll notice, Dave, that there's a small notch here that is parallel with the notch here. Okay. So, the, and that, of course, has to correspond yeah. down like that. Exactly. So that notch on the face part of the, the sprocket will help you because you can't always see the, the notch. All right, I think it's good. It is, yeah. Is there, now, is there a way to test that? Well, usually the, the plastic covers on here, it's hard to see, but usually the way you know it's... Oh, you can see it right there. Look. Yeah, you can, but usually you have that plastic part, this part here usually covers uh, all that. Yes. Okay, so you'll know that it's in right because it'll turn easily. Mm -hmm. 
and it's all going to be lined up properly over here. Okay. So when you put the washer, there's lots of room for that clip. So oh, so if if this doesn't have a lot of room, that means that it's not it's bending down exactly. on that. Got it. Exactly. And but depending down on that um, on the shaft that drives worm, the worm. yeah the oil worm uh, Got shaft. It. Cool. Okay. So now to properly install this clip with this again, right? Uh, no. Oh, okay. No, no, no. Get in trouble again. Here's a good pair of pliers. Oh, so would you say that? I'm snapping this on. You are oh, okay. with the snap-on pliers. Okay, we're, we're not endorsing snap-on. Try okay. to keep your hand over okay. in case that the clip goes flying. Got it. Wow, that's way easier than you being, way a, easier being a caveman with this tool. Absolutely. And with the screwdriver, it's easy to stab your hand. <laughs> <laughs> and not so fun. And you know what? I have to admit, when I started working on saws, I did it like that all the time and I did stab my hand. <laughs> I just don't want to see you do the same mistake. Awesome. Okay, Dave, so these are tips that you will always remember as to how to reinstall the clutch drum over here, yep. the sprocket, yep. lining up with the oil worm gear mm -hmm. shaft. Mm -hmm. Now, not every chainsaw has that feature. So the way you'll know, Dave, is by seeing the notch on the sprocket drum. Right. And then when you install the clip, just use a good pair of pliers. It's a lot easier and it's, uh, it requires very little effort. Awesome. So Dave, this is the Euler Worm gear from another saw. Okay. It's, it's actually out from a 291 as well. This is the part that you want to line up the clutch or that you lined it up there. Right. Exactly, see? Got it. And when you throttle up and your sprocket and the chain start to turn, it's actually spinning the oil pump. So at idle, that oil pump isn't engaged. Exactly. Hey, that makes great sense. Okay, so you can see why it's super critical that you line up the uh, sprocket when you reinstall it. Cool. All right, Dave, what do you think about those tips? I think, I mean, I didn't know those, so okay. picking up on those little quick tips there now. So I didn't ever understand actually how the oil pump worked. Like I knew that yeah. it put oil out, and I knew uh, I knew that the clutch drum spun, but I never put two and two together that that worm gear actually sits inside of that that clutch drum. So now in my head, I know how it works and, and why it works. So exactly in the future, as I go on, I mean, if I'm ever teaching somebody or if I'm showing exactly. somebody or yeah. even in my own repairs, that's yeah. just going to make things happen. And not exactly. digging under my workbench, looking for that stupid little clip because exactly. I shot it across the room being a caveman. Exactly. Now you you won't forget this. I won't. Okay. I, I guarantee every time you work on a saw, yeah. uh, some Husqvarna chainsaws too, you have to look out for the oil warmer, uh, worm gear shaft. Okay. Some might be made of plastic, some are wider. Uh. On some of the husky saws, the, the, uh, the notch in the sprocket drum is a lot bigger. So, okay. so always look at your sprocket, dr uh, your sprocket drum yeah? Yeah. underneath for a notch. If you see a notch, you know that there's something that needs to be lined up. Awesome. Thanks again for watching, guys. Thanks for being in my shop again, Dave. Thanks for having me, buddy. And guys, please subscribe to both our channels. Uh, thumbs up the video, please. And also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. All the links are below the video. Have a great day.